Hello guys and welcome to my Zero to Hero with Battlelegs. What you can expect? Wild fights Gucci kills Legendary luck Red Ink Killing Reds And highest profit ever Starting build is 90k, basic cape, merc hood, assassin jacket for runaway potential, soldier boots for health, torch for attack speed with adrenaline rush, satchel for faster camp clear. Disclaimer for potential haters, this is not true zero to hero, I have high specs in X3, but I'm not going to start from fresh character, just to edit 10 hours of fame farming. First fight versus tier 6 battle legs, same IP as he was low spec. Merc hood and disengage on his hunter hood. Matching boots. Using my no cast time Q, meanwhile to stack breeds on him. Assassin jacket for his mercenary jacket. And just finishing the job. Upgrade to tier 6 from his gear and extra 60k. Met OC tier 7 longbow, didn't really want to fight him, just cleared the camp. I know he was baiting, so I took the fight. But double assassin longshot longbow is pain in the brown hole. Missed this E, which was good, but I had weird need to cancel it anyway, which made my hood wasted. And another increase. Close the gap, even I didn't have my Merc hood ready, which was mistake, and I fully ate his E. Here he nicely cancelled my third Q and I knew I'm doomed when I missed second E. What a betrayal. Failure. Indignity. Betrayal. Regear to tier 4 and again we go. He dismounted even though I was trying hard to do it myself though. 5 seconds, good for me. But I managed to miss my E again, damn. At least I dodged the second one. Inferno shield for Bravo. Nothing to disengage from the back jacket, so I kept prowling. Stayed away from Hunter Hood. And just finished the job while he missed both of his E's. <laughs> Another tier 6 upgrade. Versus nice tier 7 dead giver, same IP. Don't take inspiration from this fight, I should have kept kiting with Merc Hood to reset his stacks, instead let him stack on me. Then use the Inferno Shield before his E was available with 3 stacks. At least I disengage right for his Merc Jacket. I managed to kill him but also dismounted tier 7 wildfire. Run away, mount, grab the loot, but died because of my terrible pathing. Fire Fire! Here we go again. Another tier for a start, let's get real this time. Nice chest for beginning, but even better legendary mist. Full of surprises. Like this tier 7 healer knocked on mob flow. <laughs> or this tier 6 blazing mobile player. Who forgot I can go away from his E. Even found tier 8 griffin which was tough, but A2 clarent was tougher, time to leave. Tier 6 upgrade number 3. Far as legendary mist and then this happened, can I get more lucky? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. Free 1.5 mil, I will take that any day. 
Nice. Immediate T-Raid upgrade, got chased by 8-4 blood letter, so that's why I'm overcharged. 8 tier 6 shadow color for branch and then headed for legendary mist. Yes, another one. Camps were terrible luck, but at least I found two big bosses and couple bigger mobs netting me another 800k from loot and silver drops. Just look at it, 150k from big boss in silver. Drop the loot, break the OC, revive bed legs and torch for half mil and moved on. I should really name this video Legendary Bed Legs. Loot luck was on my side. Met nice tirade fire stuff in Abbey. Let him chase me for 2 minutes until I broke his keeper cape and reset it. Plan was to use Merghood for his cultist drop and Inferno shield for big E. I don't know how his E missed though. Even pets are on my side. Didn't even need to interrupt his rope, they did it for me. Interrupted his E. Closed the gap with W and boots. Triple Q, first E on spot, second E where he was running. Done. Upgraded to 8-1, loot is starting to look nice. Found this nice tier 8 one-handed maze, but he wasn't really up to fight. And he didn't do past that running away either, poor guy. I nearly got ratted by tier 7 sleepcasters, but managed to take the loot and run. Then got myself my personal rating time. Tier 7 bad legs and tier 8 carving were fighting like there is no tomorrow, so I joined. Who would say no to 2.5 millions for free, yeah? Poor carving was even my fan, but he wasn't holding grudge. 5 minutes later, another rating time. Tier 7 crossbow and tier 8 bed legs. Goal is clear, kill the bed legs. The chase would be shorter if crossbow knew how to use cult troops, but managed to kill the bed legs. Secured the loot while crossbow was having trouble with night mob. So I helped him join the bed legs in Brazilian. By the way, it's super great when playing bad legs on lower tier to have this W and assassin jacket, as if things go south, you can run away pretty easily with this setup. Try it! And another loot. I wanted to finish the challenge in 8-1 set, as I think it's the most cost-effective way. Bad nice 6 4 8 3 rad letter, overcharged, clapped his cheeks and he ran away. Meanwhile, tier 8 carving was trying to rat me, thinking I'm off cooldowns, but boy oh boy was he wrong. Never use adrenaline rush together with Inferno Shield versus Fiend Cavalry users, as you will get them purged at the same time. Pure Mist Battlex always easily wins versus carving on Eels 2 in view of Bravo, as you can see. Well, at least if you don't miss all of your spells. This is 6-3 overcharged carving. Missed my E, got hit by his W and E, used my Inferno Shield way too late. Paired it with Adrenaline Rush, so both got purged at the same time. Used boots as he had no purge and he used them too. Missed another E, that's two in a row. Finally hit E, but was late with Merghood and ate both his W and E without damage debuff. But I would still be fine if I didn't miss third E already. But used Adrenaline Rush again together with Inferno Shield, so both got purged. I really don't know how I missed another E. Got hit by Edge of Splitting Slash and killed by his E.
damn. Another 8 1 set and we move on. 7 3 full spec dead givers. Definitely not easy fight, but I overcharged and tried my luck. This time I swapped to Tenacity Jacket for this build as it offers better defensives. I thought he's running away because I overcharged, so I painted him using both my E's mistake. Used my Tenacity Jacket earlier than I should as he didn't have his stacks ready. But so that we are gonna get red by 6 4 8 3 blood otter, so I disengage and try to explain the situation to fellow dead giver player. He finally realized the delicacy of the situation. I could have run away but stayed and helped him because... You ever heard the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? He's gonna run the The dead givers unfortunately got killed. I tried to catch up with the blood otter but well you can't catch up with him. So I took the loot and tried to fight him for it, because 10 mil means I can end the challenge. Well, I had to took the fight, but scared him way too easily. He tried to come back once more time, only to run away again. Wanted to be fair to that giver player, so I traded him at least the weapon and continued the challenge. Time for the final fight, 5 4 7 3 blood letter. He ran away many times, this time he swapped his spells. Swapped my Mergo to cleanse to purify his cultist cow. Fetched his boots. Tenacity jacket for his stalker jacket for higher defensives and damage. Triple Q to bait his chain slash. After that, double E. And with these spells, he is doomed. He can't run away my brave, and I secure another perfect trash rate. GG. Yes! I really really had fun doing this video, as with bad legs I somehow always get a lot of fun fights in Mist. Hopefully the guys who tried my bad legs build from previous video can agree. Let's count the final loot. 22.5 mil in one tap, 7.5 in another tap, 5 mil in last tap. 4 mils were there before, but I had no clear tap to continue putting loot in. Total loot 35 millions. I lost half million OC break and 3 million 8 1 death. The final profit is 31.5 million of silver, which is actually the highest I ever got in this type of Zero to Hero video. It was totally around 7 hours of game time, and I didn't include some of the tier 7 and lower kills I got later on, but it was super nice experience as Badlex is literally the explanation of what is a real Brawler. You just need to hit your abilities, which is, well, sometimes not so easy as we all know. But as old saying goes, you miss every bad legs E you don't take. Hopefully you won't miss the subscribe button as we are really close to that 3k subs number, which would be amazing to hit by the end of the week thinking, it was just 3 months ago when I didn't even have 1000 subscribers. By the way, I already bought my A4 set for Blood Letter video, I'm only missing the Blood Letter for Awakening, so stay tuned. Next video will probably be me showing you how wild kills you can get in 6-3 Blood Letter set. For next giveaway we will have Awakened Blood Letter and 7 days of premium, so don't forget to leave your in-game link in comments. Also congrats for the giveaway winner, contact me in-game and also via Discord, read description on how to do it. What a ride. Thank you for spending your valuable time watching my videos and see you soon, your noob, Grinder.